Hi! This video will show you how to use the Visit Basis Scenario Form Builder. It greatly simplifies and eliminates the guesswork out of creating scenarios through tables. So we are in Scenarios, go to Menu, Create Scenario. Let's name it Test Scenario. Now, instead of going to the Questions tab, we click on Form Builder. First, we will choose a section name. If your scenario is simple and only has one section, we can just choose a simple name to summarize your scenario. Here we'll just use Test. For the first question, let's use something simple as asking the rep's name. So under Question Name, we add Name. Question Name is the header of the column in a spreadsheet with the answers from several reports on the scenario, so it might be useful to keep it simple if you are downloading reports in spreadsheet format and connecting it with other systems. However, if you're not using spreadsheet reports, you can have What's Your Name as the question name. Question names do not appear on the Office App Scenario Preview, but they appear as the question on the mobile app. Now we will choose the answer type. Since this is a simple text input, we will select Short Answer. Now let's add the question so we can see it in the scenario preview. We click on these three dots, click on Description, and add as the description What's Your Name? That's it! We can also make this question mandatory or required by checking this box, and we can add validation to the question. For instance, let's add another question. This time the question name is Age. Add a description, since we want to see the question in the preview, we will ask, what's your age? Here the answer type will still be short answer, but I will have a response validation that the answer must be a number, greater than 18, and the error text, if the rep answers something that doesn't fit that validation criteria, will be, age must be greater than 18. For numbers only, I can also use the answer type counter. This is very useful for product counts and will only allow users to use the numeric keypad. If the answer requires options, such as in drop-downs, checkboxes, and multiple choice questions, we will be prompted to add the options. For instance, if I have a question, what is your favorite color, with the answer type drop-down, here I will input options like red, green, and blue by clicking on Add Option until I have all options needed. Now let's say you want to ask your reps if a product is available. If they answer yes, they should continue with additional questions. If they answer no, they should submit the form. In this case, you will first create a new section by clicking on Add Section. We will name this section Details, and here I can add as many questions as I need. And another section for submitting the form that we will name Submit, and check the box Submit Form. Now we add the drop-down options Yes and No. Click on the three dots, choose to go to Section based on Answer. So for Yes, we will choose Go to Details, and for No, I will choose to go to Submit. For drop-downs, you also have the option of adding weights to the options, as well as request comments from the user. In multiple choice questions, you can also add weights. For check-in and check-out questions, we recommend the answer type timestamp that will capture the current date and time and prevent custom input by the user. For linear scales, such as in a grading question like, on a scale for 0 to 10, how did the customer like the new yogurt flavor? You will need to set the bottom, as well as the top end of the scale, along with the appropriate labels, like 0 for hated it and 10 for loved it. To remove a question or section, click on the appropriate trash can. Once you are done with your form, click on Done. If we click on the Questions tab, we can see the form has been converted into table format. Same thing with the options. Let's preview our form. We go back to our Scenario tab and click on Preview. Here it is. What's your name? What's your age? What is your favorite color? Check out. Done! Just save and now your scenario is ready for use. Should you have any questions, please contact us at support at visitabases.com.